So the diesel gets into the oil through incomplete regenerations. So when the DPF regenerates, um, it changes the injection timing and adds an extra squirt for the easiest way possible, which goes in after the burn. So piston comes up. As it starts to come back down again, it gets another squirt. It goes back in and it blows it into the exhaust. You've got neat fuel in the exhaust. Now, when it does that, um, you're getting a lot of fuel in the cylinder that isn't burning, so therefore it can run past the rings. Now, modern cars have got bigger clearances to reduce friction, to, re to increase fuel economy, to lower emissions. That's why modern cars burn more oil than older cars. Uh, I'm going to rephrase that. That's why modern cars burn more oil in comparison to their direct predecessor. Because something like an old Daimler Dart burns more oil than fuel. But anyway, we're going off topic. So what happens is that the, the fuel runs down past the rings, ends up in the sun. Now, your regeneration should happen probably once every 100 miles or so. But what happens is where Land Rover in the Discovery Sport and the Evokes, the Gen 1s, the, the DPS was so far away from the engine, they never got hot enough to actually regenerate properly. So it was regenerating two, three, four times a day and being cancelled by people stopping the engine or whatever because it wasn't completing the regeneration. That's how the fuel gets in the oil.